Okay. Here's my Kohler Command Powered Craftsman. It was a Briggs Single Intec, but we swapped it over out of a John Deere LT155, I think it was. Okay. You see, it looks like a mouse has been eaten. Hopefully, it didn't make a nest. But anyway, see how the governor at idle, he can't move it, of course. Let's see. Make sure it's in focus. And you see, you can feel the resistance, but of course, that's with a spring. It's got a spring in there for that. Governor is over here, and mine, there it is. Would help if I actually paid attention which one I was moving. You can feel the resistance quite. And see how it moves. So I believe to adjust it, you gotta loosen that, and I think you turn that and the move, way it moves the way it moves and so I would think loosen that and turn this that counterclockwise all the way and then tighten that back up that would give it the initial if you mess with the linkage let's see see that hole down there well, on full choke you can stick a drill bit or something through there and then you loosen them two screws and you can adjust that part of it. So Levi, I think that's, that'll get you an idea. And this video is mainly to help the fellow out that has a similar engine. So, let's see, turn the gas on. This one had a pump, so it's a little different. Than don't need a pump now, but it's just easier to leave it. been sitting a while because the lifter is drained back. So. <coughs> I'll let that warm up. And I'll hold start these guys. Alright Levi, hopefully that will help you a little bit.